Hello and welcome back to Sam Kissu. Uh, today I'm going to teach you how to make uh, mutter paneer. It's a famous dish of India. Uh, vegetarians and non-vegetarians both. Uh, mutter paneer is a uh, cottage cheese which is made by pulsing the milk by pouring in vinegar or, or, or lemon juice and it comes out. It's not fermented and it's not aged. It's just instantly eaten. So I'm going to teach you mutter paneer sabzi Matra means peas over here. So I've got at least uh, 200 grams of peas and 300 grams of paneer. Paneer, when you fry, we're going to fry it because it's going to lose some quantity while frying. So that's 300 grams I'm using over here. Should be equal quantities actually. So I've got some tomato puree, half a cup over here. I've also got one big onion and one big tomato paste. And I've got one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. I've got the spices over here, salt. I've got uh, uh, red chili, it's not uh, grind properly, it's like crushed pepper. I've got turmeric, I've got half a teaspoon of cumin, uh, cumin powder, and half a teaspoon of garam masala, and some uh, cumin seeds for tempering. So, we got two pans over here, and one I'm gonna fry uh, the paneer side by side the cottage cheese, and in the other pan I'm gonna cook. So, I've got oil poured in it. So first of all, I'm going to uh, put the cumin seeds in for tempering. Yeah, there you, are. you can hear the crackling sound. You don't have to burn them, straight away pour them. Not so thin. It should be that hot. Third precaution, please. Wear your safety gears. Okay. Now we're gonna cook this thing for a few minutes. Okay. So our onion and tomato paste is cooking, and we're gonna pour in ginger garlic paste here as well. Give it a stir. Let's cook it for at least two minutes. Okay, so while this is cooking, we're gonna fry our paneer one by one, like that. You just have to get it brown on the top of this so the oil should really be hot. As you can see it's frying in here on this side. We are waiting for it to get more load in the oil. So, starting to crack up a little color, bubbling the oil has caught up with the spices in the next shot. Okay, few more minutes. And we're gonna keep turning. This should be the texture of the paneer with the ones over here. That's exactly what you have to bring. So this is necessary that you buy, you fry it and pour it hot oil. Okay. While this is cooking, okay. So we've got our spices ready here. So you're gonna pour all the spices in here at this moment. We cooked it at least for five minutes. Now it's the time to pour the spices, all of them. Okay. Do a quick mix. Okay, the pan we should everything should mix up. We'll cook it again for three four minutes and fry the paneer as well on this side. 
Okay, so let's put it. I'm gonna put it here. So on this side. Can you still fry? See, not burnt. Pretty good quality of cottage cheese, full cream cottage cheese. Now at this point, I'm gonna pour in the peas over here. Get them a nice mix inside. Okay. You do not have to overcook the masala. Just give it a quick mix over here. Okay, next up. Okay, now I'm gonna pour in my leftover tomato puree in here. Okay, so we pour in the tomato puree, give it a quick mix again. And this will start to bubble a little. This tomato puree has a thick consistency of concentrated tomatoes. So it's gonna cook for a minute. And then bubble then I'm gonna add a little water to it and let it boil let it boil so that the peas inside since they are frozen already cooked I still I'm gonna cook them to my contentment I'm gonna add some water to the mixture soon and then I'm gonna let it cook for at least five minutes and if I need is still fry just give it a little turn around over here okay Come back after just two minutes. I'll take out my paneer. Almost done. Okay, almost done. You don't have to like uh, fry it like a kebab. And this is cooking as well. So just two minutes and you come back. The masala has thickened up and left all the oil. And the peas are still to cook. And paneer has been fried. Perfect color. And I'm going to pour in one cup of water to this mixture. Just one cup, not more than that. The two liquidy honey, matter of honey, sabzi will not look good. It has to it has a particular consistency, and that's exactly what we're looking for. Okay, so this is the particular consistency. It's still thick. We're gonna go and reduce some water while the pigs are being cooked in it. So I suggest you cover and cook it for at least five minutes, and then. Take out the lid, cook for another two minutes, the water will evaporate most of it and we'll have the perfect consistency for our matra paneer. And we're gonna come back when it's done. Okay, so here we are, the gravy is all cooked, thickened, and the peas are all cooked. Done, we need that's the perfect consistency we need. And yes. okay, I'm gonna pour in all the potato cheese paneer in here that just give it a nice mix and our matter paneer is all done ready i don't have to cook it any further this you don't even have to add water this is how it's supposed to be normally when you get in hotels and restaurants there's a lot of masala and water in it that's not really nice but this one is home cooked because you're gonna love it the quantity of paneer should be equal to the quantity of peas in it yeah. That's how it's made. Okay, so I'm not going to cook it any further. Just put the gas off. When you pour it into a serving dish, just garnish it with uh, green coriander. And that's it. Here you are. The easiest recipe you'll find about matar paneer. I hope you'll enjoy this recipe and make it for yourself. You'll enjoy it definitely. And I hope you enjoyed this video. There are a lot more videos coming in. Just keep me subscribed. And thank you for watching my video. Keep in touch, there's a lot more coming.